All right, welcome to session number two. Are you ready to roll some sausage? Hopefully this session, this uh, series catches on a little bit, because uh, I think it is a, b a bunch of people's uh, creek, but who knows if people will watch something that's called <laughs> Stephen's Sausage Roll. It is... it is a strange name. What am I going with here? So obviously the one above me wants to go down, the one over there wants to go to the side, right? Although, how do I deal with the fact that that one has a... a missing grill? That is concerning. I wonder if I just want to rotate them and push them on like that. Yeah, maybe. That could give me a little bit of room. I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with this. Uh, let's see here. I could push you down, for example. For reasons. And push you back. And then where do I go from there? I'm wondering if- can I- can I push this around? If I rotate to the side, does it go down? It d yeah, okay. I was mixed up for a second of whether that was gonna work the way I wanted it to. Oh. Go back. What do I do with you? You seem awfully... ...stuck at this point. I can push it out of the way so it's not stuck there with me, but now I don't think I can do anything with it. <laughs> Honestly. So I'm probably on a dead end with that. This one's cooked on that side now. And I can push it further, but at that point it won't... I wonder... Let's push you down. Yeah, that, that's doomed because it's not cooked on the other side now, but at least I can experiment with this one. I'm wondering if I can cook it on all sides very carefully here. Nope, there's no way to bring it back now. Bye! So we need a brand new approach to this one. If I could just push the, the bottom one down twice, boom, it's cooked, we're done. But how do I cook the top one... ...in such a way? If I push you up... That doesn't give me a lot to work with, honestly. Trying to figure out how to just cook one corner of this thing. Like that. So now I can push it off. But now I can't bring it back here, can I? I can't bring it back up, is the problem. From that side, at least. I go back a bit. Maybe just pushing it back up is the key to this, so... That's cooked on two sides now. Oh, if I just keep pushing this down, it'll cook the rest of the way. Let's try doing just that, then. It's cooked on every side now, and it's out of my way, so it doesn't really inter interfere with anything anymore. That thing's cooked on the whole bottom side, I too believe. So, uh, I... yeah. So, push it up. And then back it up. It's gonna be facing the wrong way. Okay. And also only one part of it's cooked on that side. So... I guess the question is how do I cook this side now? So let's put- let's push it over. Wait, the top has to still be cooked on this one. I'll, maybe I'll do that one last. So this- oh, that burns it right. If I push it down, we can cook that end. But then we're stuck. Because now it's fully cooked on that end, but now I can't get it back up. Now that whole side's cooked, but I can't get it back again. That's cooked on three sides, so now I just need to figure out how to cook the last bit. We need to cook the... the bottom... Come on. There we go. We need to cook its bottom somehow. 
And as a reminder, if I do this, we get stuck. Because that cooks the right spot, but then it doesn't come back. But if I push it to the other side, over here... If I put it over here, then we're stuck too, because it doesn't come back. That puts us... that's... this is a problem. Because I can't cook it on this one, because it's the wrong side of the... meat, and I can't cook it on the other side, because it gets stuck. If only I could somehow rotate this thing, because this grill... This grill specifically has a missing spot. So I think the key here is that we can cook one end of it, but not the other end. And the end that's cooked is this top part, because then when I push it twice, it won't burn. The problem is the only part that's cooked right now is not that part, it's the other part. So I'm in a pickle. I am in a pickle. What if I go back to the beginning? I was doing this before, I believe. Or I cook it. What if I just push it further? There we go. Push it down once and it's cooked. There you go. That's all it took. Then now I just need a way to cook this thing, even though it's facing the wrong direction. Which is its own predicament. Except it's not, because I just have to push it down a little bit. Because now it's sticking off one end. So now if I very carefully rotate, it cooks. Aha! Success is mine! I was just, I just had a slight divergence at the beginning that I need to do. I was on the I was on the right track pretty early. It is nice having this all cleared out, like it's all my country land now. No one else gets to have it. No weird purple lines here. I mean, no weird orange blocks. Baby oh, Bay's neck. I almost said baby's neck. That's a very different thing. Um Oh, there's a hole over there, so I can't even go over there. So, my only option to touch it is to come over here, where I presumably would put it, push it upwards, because I can't push it in virtually any any other direction. I think. At which point I pushed it up. Now it's touched both the grills, but how do I cook the rest of it? Let's try this again real quick. I feel like I could have used that slightly better. See, is there a way to push it back down to touch the rest? I can't reach it from here, and no other part of the board exists. We may need to loop back around then. So let's try going up here. I'll try pushing it twice. I can't that way, but I can do it this way. Ta-da! It didn't work at all. <laughs> See, once first touching... That's when it first touches. If I swoop it, if I push it sideways, I just can't touch it anymore. But now I've looped around it, so now I could push it from this side. Which allows me to push it that way. But I have to be careful, or I'll push it in a way that I can't proceed with, so careful. Ooh. We just have to we have to push it up. Be very careful here. Slide it around. Oh, but it's gonna be out of reach, isn't it? I just need to push it over, but I can't reach it now. We're so agonizingly close. Cause now it'll burn. Oh, accidentally went back to the beginning instead of going back a step. We're so agonizingly close though. Right? I can only push it over here from that side. Like, I, as in, I, like, I can't push it back. Maybe I can, maybe I can cook it twice on the bottom without pushing it up first. Maybe I just gotta believe in me. You know? But there's no way to push it back down. I can only push it to the right if I go to its left, but I can only push it back down. Never, basically. Um... I may need, need, may need to commit to this little strategy for a bit. If I push it that way. We just can't reach it again. It's not gonna work either. If 
This way allows me to cook the other remaining side. This might be the right track. I can't push it down, but I can push it past it. Ah, uh, this is the same situation I was stuck in before, wasn't it, though? Which is that I need that solved. I need the ability to move it up or up and right. But if I put if I if I move it right, then I lose, and if I move it up, then I can't move it right afterwards, because it goes out of range. But this doesn't work. I can't go anywhere else. But if I move it sideways, it burns. Am I missing a step here? He has an idea. So, so far I've been burning it at the beginning, like this. And that seems to limit me. So what if we just try circumventing that whole step? And maybe we try to cook it afterwards? So now I'll, I'll push it down like always, but now it's completely uncooked on the side that's touching the other grill. Which may allow me to have more freedom of movement here? Come on. Are we on the right track here? So we need that side to cook, but we need to we need to avoid t the top of it touching because it's already cooked on that side. Come on. Oh, there we go. Got it. Ta-da! These are just tough enough that none of them are a breeze, but just e but like just intuitive enough that I'm not totally stuck yet. But yeah, this is. It's definitely a taxing game to play, because like, my, my brain is like, I... Uh, come on, we, we need to innovate again. Okay, time to innovate again. There's, there's, there's The solutions are always new, which is rough. Like, when I play Talos Principle, you get ideas of like, Oh, this is how you use that tool in this set, sort, of, sort of situation, and you re, you uh you recognize when the game's iterating on a, on a solution you've already made. Uh, in this game, I don't know if they are innovating on solutions I've already made. Yay, it's done! Now, it's into the water with you. <laughs> There's a problem, obviously. Alright, so both of them are just a quick two pushes away from being done. Which you're, you're thinking, like, great! No big deal, right? But then how do you get them to cook? Is the question. What if we pushed you down? And then how do you get pushed off? Kind of just messing around at random right now. There, it goes that way, right? And then what do I do? Nothing. That doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> that is not a solution. It feels like the beginning of a solution, though. It feels like that might somehow be useful to push them off halfway. The problem is this one can't be pushed up. And if I push it down, I won't be able to cook the bottom one because I can't bring it back up. There's no way to reach it. Yeah. As far as I can tell. There's no, way to, there's no way to move this one up. So you can't cook it half at a time. How do I clear the way here? Like, for example, I could move this guy aside. Except not really, because now I can't reach it. Like, even then, though, like, where do I go with that? Still, still in trouble. We need a way to be able to cook them and then take them back off. So I wonder what kind of usefulness there might be if I try to do that. Here's a predicament where I can't even rotate the way I want to rotate. Uh, there we go. And we can knock you back off. I could easily take him back, so it's easy to retrieve. Although right now, there's no way to get him down to cook now. Let's see. Now you're half cooked. And I'm doomed. Maybe. Yeah. Because now you burn. What if we skip the first part when I cooked you? I can't, because that's how I move you in the first place. Spank. This one might be a tough one. Alright, back to square one. 
The more time I spend looking at this, the more I realize that there's no... I can't do anything with this one. It has to just do that, those two actions. So all the maneuvering has to come out of this little guy, which I have way more... space around. Try sending him back to... oh yeah, all the way to the bottom. This should allow us to cook him on both sides here. And while we're at here, we'll, we'll go around and push you down. Now it's half cooked. So now the question is, how do I... How do I use them? How do I get them cooked in the right order here? So I want to probably push it, right? Here we go. Ta-da! That was one of the ones where you start to feel a little crazy for a while. I had to just stop there and go silent for a couple minutes and just stare at it and do some mental gymnastics of like what I was missing there. Look at that. Even that little chunk of land's all empty now. Let's get this part cleared next. I like getting areas cleared. And not walking past them. Inlet shore. Alright, we have a solid island where I'm allowed to walk everywhere I want. Let's just take an obvious approach and then see why it doesn't work as I go along. Whoops. So we're gonna have the two of them are half cooked now. Let's put it up. The question here is gonna be what stops this from working? First of all, I need to put you off. There we go. I almost got stuck along the ledge. No, I wouldn't have had access to it properly again. Oh. Here's a problem. I can't get that one off the wall. Let's reconsider this one. Okay. I went wrong somewhere. Oops. That was also me going wrong. So I specifically need the ability to push them off the walls or we're stuck. So like this. And now I need to do that to the other side. Careful. Then put you up. Then you're ready to cook. Oh no. But now I need the ability to put the other one off. I can't get behind it. So can I push, can I use this one to push it? The answer is yes. But now it's in the way. So now we need to work on pushing this, this out of the way. Maybe I'll push it one more time. And then push it back. Yes. Now we're, cl we're clear. Except for the part where that's in my way of my solution. Um... How do I get to the exit? <laughs> I'm facing the wrong way with the, with the fork. I'm trapped. Tragedy. Let's go back a few steps. Alright, so this is where I was about to push it over. Let's go ahead and, since we know the, where the fork's gonna spawn now for my exit, let's push you out of the way. There we go. Oh. Gonna have to start all the way up here to get fork clearance. There we go. Gotta be careful. Now we've got access to the exit. I just need to very ro carefully rotate my way out. Nailed it! For a brief moment there, I was like, oh no. How do I escape the solved puzzle? But we did it. We did it. For some reason, I keep revisiting this shipwreck over here. It's just kind of here. It's a little bit of scenery, but it's the closest thing to storytelling in the game. I'm just a guy holding a weird sausage rotator thing spit. What's the, does it say anything new? Is it, is it just, yeah, it's just the controls. Which, funnily enough, are controls I'm not using. Oh, I can look at this guy now. Let's find out what it says. Learned people cast great shadows. Okay. What's the green thing do? This is a green shadow. Or whatever you want to call it. Can I climb ladders in this game? Do I have to, play, do I have to face forward? Oh, you climb ladders sideways. How strange. I guess it makes sense. You can't. You shouldn't climb a ladder forward. You, sh you. I mean, you shouldn't climb a ladder backwards. And the fork's in front of me, so I have to. I have to side climb ladders. Interesting. That seems to only be there to teach me how ladders work, though, and not to actually be used because it doesn't go anywhere. Unless. Oh. 
What if I solve those puzzles and then this is the final puzzle of this individual world and maybe that'll respawn the bridge for me to go to the next area? Could be. This place looks important and it has a symbol on it and a weird green thing. The fact that it's visually set apart from everything else would indicate that it might be the equivalent of a boss fight for this game. Well, we have two more puzzles to go before we get to, before we start finding out what that thing does. So we'll head over there. Ooh, this one's a big one. Okay, the clover. So we'll we'll just start off by do, by doing the obvious thing, and then I'll see if there's actually a solution to be made. Ha! Should have seen that one coming, huh? Should have seen that one coming. So grilling them's the super easy thing. The hard thing is getting out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Well, this one I can push over. Then I'm able to. Uh, can I jab it from here? Nope. Ow. That one's pushed off, but that doesn't really help me. It's off the death spot, but that doesn't really do much for me. Interesting. Interesting. Das ist sehr, sehr interessant. I need, I need an exit strategy, so let's push you to the side. Get you grilled on both ends. Damn it. I was thinking of trying to do something clever about the fact that I could do something like that, for example. But, uh, I didn't plan on what to do from here. That would be useful. Because that pushes you off. I can't reach you to push you the rest of the way onto the ledge. Alright, so that doesn't work out. I just imagine there's something clever I can do about half grilling something and then coming back. Presumably. Yeah, this might be the one. So I can reach it like that. Ooh, I should, I should do that afterwards. Except I can't escape it, really. I can't pull it towards me. I was thinking, like, what if I cook the bottom half first and then I could cook the second half, the top half as my solution at the end. Huh. I suppose part of the solution could be involve solving individual ones of these first and then figuring out how to dispose of their bodies. <laughs> um, it's pretty stuck though, isn't it? Can't push it, can't pull it towards me, can't push it out to the edge. Actually, I can. Oops. Isn't- wasn't the solution right here? I don't remember if it was on the end of the peninsula or not. It might have been. Let's give this another go. I'm gonna do the really quick solution real quick just to remind myself where the exit was. The exact location. Oh, it is at the end, so there's no hanging it off the end trick that's gonna work here. I was thinking maybe I could- I, I briefly thought that it was right here. And so I was thinking maybe I, I could just push it off the end and have it hang off this edge, but uh... It makes sense that it's not here, because this is where this thing is. So the obvious solution to me would be... Take that one up there and somehow move it right here. But I can't do that. Because I can't get behind it at that position. Is there anything I can do for you? Like, once I push it off, it's just stuck here. I can't push it off the edge over there, that wouldn't accomplish anything. The only thing I can do is that maybe... If you push it off the edge over here... And I push it over here... No, I can't bring it back towards me though. And I can't push it off the other direction either. I'm trying to figure out a way to, to half solve one of these in their current positions basically. The middle one's the, the easiest one to kind of fool for a moment by pushing it up, up like that. But then you get stuck pretty fast. Not sure how to proceed. Meanwhile, this guy, you can... There's no way to pull it towards me. I can push it off, but then I can't get it back. So it seems like pushing it down too is the only solution really at that point. 
similarly, I don't see what else to do with those guys. They're because they're symmetrical, and how un inaccessible they are. As far as I can tell, once I'm here, there's nothing I can do with them. So it comes down to finding out how I can solve this guy without getting stuck. Which probably involves pushing it from here. Because otherwise I have no access to it. But how do I burn just the top of it? Also, how do I even bring it closer to myself right now? That's not good. Unless... Hear me out here. If I push you off by one, push you down two, push you the rest of the way over. Ah, uh, I was thinking that may—I I was thinking there might be a solution involving Ow going up to this guy and pushing it this way or something. Except that still burns it, so I can't do much with that. All right, I'm feeling a little stumped. I've been staring at the one on the right for a while, because I, it has to be the solution. I just can't do anything with the top and bottom ones. They just go bloop, and that's it. And if you move them at that point, they go onto the finish line, and, and they've run into each other, so you're stuck. So I need a way to cook this in a weird way that doesn't block my path. Push you down. And along. Oh yeah, they can push it off. Now it's down here. So if I cook it twice now, it's done. And then... Now what do I do? Shit. Um... Let's just go along with it. Let's just push it up and just see what happens. Is there a way to cook only part of this? Not really. If I slide it sideways, it burns. Like, that's like the only thing I can do. If I push this up, it falls. But if I push it back down, I can't push it down from here. I just realized that in a complicated way, I put it in the exact spot it would have ended up in anyway if I had finished grilling it the other, the other time. Let's just go ahead and bring it back. Get it back on the grill. Was there a better way to handle it from here? Looks like this one just seems ready to go. But if I push you forward, we're stuck. And there's nowhere else to push you? So where do I go from there? I'm off by some small detail and it's driving me crazy. There's gotta be a better way to handle that. What if I don't push you on yet? We could just push you down here. So there's no way to bring it back. Damn it. Ah, we're so close here. I feel like it's gotta be- we're just like steps away from figuring this out. But by pushing it down, I put it somewhere where I can't follow. <laughs> Hang on a second. I can just use- I can use the other grill. So push it down here. Careful. Swing. Oh yeah, one more push and we're good. That's cooked now. We got it. Okay, cool. And now it's out of the way, because it's on a different grill. There we go. Whew! Felt a little crazy over the course of that one. Got it. They're making gross meaty sounds. It's freaking me out, man. It's freaking me out. Alright, I believe it's one- yeah. Oh yeah, I just realized there's no other connections here, too. So this bridge has to get completed or something in order for me to continue. So I assume that if I take- if I do this one puzzle, and solve that, then this green thing will do something. It's it's shaped like me, as far as being two squares, so I assume it's just another one of those level entrances. 
It probably takes place over the course of this big concrete looking area. And then that probably completes that bridge and allows me to proceed to the next area. Interesting. So we're almost done with World 1. Don't, don't know how many sausages there are in this game. Looks like I have 29. I have no idea what the total is.